Hello and welcome to the Research and Development Laboratory at Advanced Cooling Technologies. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a spacecraft thermal management system um, that uses two-phase flow uh, to cool three cold plates. Um, this is just a prototype laboratory demonstration system. Um, it's not the actual system um, that we still need to develop. Um, there's three major components to this system. Uh, one of them is the phase separator. So the phase separator that we use is a cyclone style separator um, and its job is to separate vapor and liquid um, uh, that return from the evaporators or even maybe from the condenser. Um, so that way the evaporators don't have to completely um, evaporate all the working fluid. Um, and then there's two adductors on either side of that separator um, and they draw the vapor and the liquid out of the separator. Um, and both those adductors are driven by a single phase liquid pump. So in this way, we can separate the two-phase side of our system from the single-phase side of the system, um, which pr provides a lot more reliability, um, which is always important for spacecraft. So the, the last uh, component is the cold plates. So we have three cold plates here. Um, we could have more, but this is what we use for the demonstration. Uh, we have two that are in series and one that's in parallel with those two. Um, and we ran them at different power levels uh, to see if any instabilities developed in between the cold plates. Uh, we actually do have a uh, couple um, of uh, design uh, features that help control uh, two-phase instability should they, should they occur. Um, and uh, the testing showed that uh, we actually have very stable flow patterns in all of them and we're able to maintain uh, temperature uh, across the surface of about two Kelvin or two degrees Celsius. Um, and that's one of the advantages of two-phase flow um, is you have nearly isothermal um, heat transfer at the surface, um, which is important for some electronics. And you can also share heat between electronics. Um, so if you're interested in more information on the system, go to our website at www.1-act.com. Um, and you can find, uh, there's a few papers there and uh, also find information on some of the other work that we do in the R&D lab. Thanks and uh, goodbye.